Take him out. I was under kraut fire three times before I fired a single shot. How come? Something about killing a man, I guess. You feel it too? I, I, I don't remember. Boy, it's a good thing they broke when they did, otherwise we'd have been here all night. Let's hope all the rest was easy. Well, don't bank on it. Sarge, we must have chased them a mile. Where are we? I figure about here. Maybe three miles to Vettel. Uh, I got a feeling this is our day. We're gonna run into crowds all the way. We still have three places to check. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll go east here through these woods. Then we'll turn north for a half mile. By that time, we should be back to our original route. And Rick Jason. For the freight yard first, then over to the reservoir. From the reservoir, we'll head straight to Vitell. It's about a half a mile north. S2 wants us to check out the church. Make sure the Krauts aren't using it as an observation post. I hope if we bump into Krauts that we spot them first. Yeah, that could happen to us. There are no guarantees, Peel. Just keep your eyes open. The Krauts ran. They ran when they should have fought. They panicked. All right, let's move out. Sims, take the point. Back there. Can I go get it? All right,
Don't move. I said don't move. You may not understand the words, but you know what I mean. Get up. Sarge! Appeal! Sergeant Saunders! I said get up! Sarge! Sarge! Where'd you find him? Right there, fixing that wound on his side. All right, check him out again, and this time be sure. Spang, put your hands up. And the hole. Gurney, take him back to headquarters. S2 would like to talk to him. All right, move. Move out. All right, let's go. To rest. Since when you speak English? I don't have to answer questions. As a prisoner of war, I... <gasps> Come on. Here. Your sergeant said my men panicked. On that is why they died. For this day is over. I promise, his men no panic can die. One at a time, one at a time. He will be the last, so he may see and feel every death.
if you don't have flat feet when you come in this army, they're sure going to make sure you get them. If you was walking with Evie, you wouldn't be griping. Walking with your girl is a lot different than walking with a bunch of dirty G.I.s. Not even a girl could get me to go for a walk. If I ever get out of this army, I'll... Where'd you come from? Over there, I think. Sarge, he's dead. A thousand places it could be hiding around here. Snipe is the lowest form of animal life there is. Little John, round up the men. We're moving out. Fry. I found this. What do you think? Hey, Peel! Fry! We're moving out! It's an M1. It's one of ours. What do you want him to think? You're some kind of lame brain? Come on. Take a look at this. White silk. But the Germans should have taken it with them. Make pretty fancy surrender flags. Feels kind of smooth, doesn't it? No. Boy, they sure do have their snipers spread out. Oh, it's spooky. It don't feel right. Why would they put snipers way out here? Maybe it's just one guy following us. Why do you only fire once? You could have got two or three of us. If he keeps firing, give away his position. 
You think maybe it is just one guy? There's one way to find out. Jurgen, take the pump between here and the reservoir. Fry, Tanner, you follow. When I give you the word, you drop out and hide. We'll go on for a ways, and then we'll hold up. If there's a sniper telling us you ought to be able to nail him. You all right, little John? Yeah. Single file and keep blow, you got it? Right. Let's go. Go get Fry and Tanner. Right. How's the show, Little John? Okay. Sarge, maybe there were two separate snipers. Maybe we've seen the last of them. They got him. They got the sniper. Nobody could have gotten by his size. Nobody. Well, somebody did. Look for him. He's got to be here someplace. Go on, look for him. all along our flank with these blasts. All right, let's get moving. Carrigan, take the point as far as the reservoir.
How far is that reservoir? Stay back. It's not too far. What's the matter, Sarge? Nothing. You sound worried. I don't know. I just got a feeling. signal. Stay 30 feet apart. Time to go. Remember, 30 feet apart. Take it easy, Bill. I thought we killed the snipers. Everybody thought we killed them. I you said take it easy. Little John, stay with Kerrigan. I saw a flash when he fired. He's probably moving by now. Spread out and find him. Looks like you got one of those million dollar wounds, Kerrigan. Yeah, sure.
Sarge. Probably headed that way. Nothing, Sarge. Peel. Peel, please don't be dead. You can't be dead. All right, Frank, come on, let's go. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Dirty, murdering crowd! I'm okay, Sergeant. That bayonet's G.I. So is this. I found it where that sniper took a shot at us. Well, it's no trick to get hold of an M1 or a G.I. bayonet. Why? Why would a crowd be using our equipment? Well, maybe it's all he had. Gurney had an M1 and a bayonet. Do you suppose the sniper is the same crowd you sent back with Gurney? Could be. You mean it's one guy all this time? We chased that first bunch of crowds and got off course. I briefed you on a change of plans, remember? Well, supposing... Supposing that sniper overheard us. He hasn't been tailing us. He's been ahead of us every step of the way. Yeah, but, but how come he didn't help those two Germans that came up on our flank? I don't know. Maybe he's not just fighting a war. Maybe he's... After revenge, wants to hunt us down. Pick us off one by one. He's doing a pretty good job of it. He'll be waiting for us at the church in Vittel, and you can bet on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shake. We gotta get him home soon. Here he comes now. How does it look? Looks quiet. I didn't want to get too close. Well, we know he's in there. Let's go get him. He looks worse. He is. Kerrigan? Kerrigan. Hi, Sarge. How you doing? Okay. You just take it easy. I'm going to get your back. If we're not back in a half hour, you get him back. But what about you? The little John's wounded. Let him stay with Kerrigan, I'll go with you. Kerrigan has to be taken back. If anything happens, little John can't do it. But you can. All uh, right, whatever you say, Sarge. But you're leading with your chin, that sniper's smart. He could be holed up any place in that town, just waiting for you to show your face. I don't think so. He's had chances all day and he didn't use them. I think he's deliberately saving me for last. All right, even so. He's got every advantage. He could be any place in the town. Every advantage but one. I know he's in there. Let's go, little John. But he can't even aim a rifle. He can help. Let's go. Out the rest of the street. I'll meet you at the church. Right.
So, you tried to set a trap for me, Sergeant? I had hoped you would see all your men die. One at a time. But now my plans must change. Before you die, Sergeant, tell me. Did your men panic when they saw their comrades die? <laughs> Perhaps you too will panic. Oh! 